were so lucky to be able to redesign this beaten up kitchen. I was really lucky to be able to collaborate with a really close friend of mine, Letitia Houston, who's also an interior designer. Um, and I guess we were first designing the kitchen, thinking about prep I was going to be doing in this. It was just before opening Mambo and it was going to be our initial testing site. Um, and I was also doing catering events on the side. So the central island was definitely the first thing to go in. The steel countertops as well, for it being like heat resistant. Also stain proof for all the chili and turmeric cooking that I do and so much paste cooking off um, that I do as well. I guess it's also about being able to design like the flow of your stations. You know, not exactly like in a professional kitchen, but I could go from baking to this is where I prep all my paste, my blenders are here, all my spice racks are in there, to then just this being my sort of frying off, boiling and braising section, basically. And I guess just trying to find ways to be as sustainable as we are at the restaurant, you know, whether it's choosing materials from sort of like leftover wood chip, you know, this is what it's made of, and some resin trying to get X-Play items or, you know, secondhand items and going for basically like vintage lighting. This is from like an Italian vintage store and just continuing on this vintage theme throughout the rest of the house. Try to go for like lighter blue on the out, sort of outsets, so just to make the illusion of like a bigger space and then darker, much darker blue for the middle section. We went for exposed shelves um, made by some of my carpenter friends. Um, it's just much easy access to my recipe books, chili sauces, flavoured oils, soy sauces, you know, black vinegars. Um, it's just much, much quicker process of cooking. For my cooking process, there's just a lot of ingredients that go into Malaysian cooking. So I think what's quite key are so sort of these metal um, bowls that I got from um, Indian shops like near like Wembley, or you can get them online. Um, they're so good for just weighing everything out before you start cooking a recipe. Um, so you can just throw everything in in one go. Then we also have my spice grinder. This is key for blending all my nuts, seeds, and spices. This, which actually is a hot pot ladle, but it just turned out to be a perfect sort of height for skimming broths. Heat resistant spatula as well. Good for getting all the last bits of everything. Any dish, you need to do that. And my wok spatula. It's just great for you know, spreading around like stir fries, frying paste, um, before any curries, it's just, the best tool you can have. One tip I would give is to pick the one pan that's perfect for cooking. So something like this, which is perfect for like two to four people, um, great for tossing pasta, great for stir frying, great for searing meat. Um, you can even, you know, braise your curries in it, you know, with the lid on. Um, it's just the perfect size and not choosing, you know, something so big that you can't fit into your sink. So hard to like clean up, you know, this is so easy to clean up. Another tip um, that's great for enhancing your dishes um, would be just a great like condiment pantry selection. Whether it's a good chili oil or I have a really good sort of Malaysian crispy shrimp um, chili paste that just goes so good on any dish. And also the, any like preserved vegetables that you can find in like Korean supermarkets. They're just so good as a topping. Um, you can also get, you know, ready-made like fried garlic, fried shallots, and also, oh, seasoned seaweed. That's also a very good, um, you know, rice topping or salad topping as well. So today we're gonna make a steamed okra dish. Um, that's going to be topped with our signature sambal and some dried shrimp and some crispy shallots. The first step will always be to make your paste. That's the start of any sambals. Um, so we've got 
lemongrass, red chilli, dried chilli, um, turmeric, red onion, and I've got our shrimp paste. So you can just roughly chop everything because it's going to go in a blender anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and don't bother deseeding them either. Long red chilies from Holland. Um, it's quite mild because you've got your dry chilies here anyway to provide some heat. Um, and these are Kashmiri chilies that you should soak in hot or warm water for you know 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then for your lemongrass prep, I'll probably only use up to here, so halfway. And then you can save these for flavoring rice or making tea or just flavoring your water. And just remove the tough out a bit. It's in there. I'm gonna crumble my shrimp paste in there as well. Pretty full, so now we can add the dried chilies. And now you add some turmeric. Um, I wouldn't advise blending it with the paste, so just add it after. Just give it a nice stir. Cool, and now we're ready to fry. I will get your steamer on, so you're ready to throw in your okra, your pan. Heat it up, get it nice and preheated before adding the sambal. It's a good sizzle. And you can see the oil's initially all absorbed, so you'll know later on when it's done, when the oil's separated. Seasonings that you need for sambals are always salt, sugar, and tamarind. To top the dish, you would have to soak some dried shrimp for like 10 minutes or so. And then I would basically blend this up in a food processor until it's like a flossy texture. And then just sort of fry in a pan slowly until it's like caramelized like this. Some fried shallots. And some lime. So steamer's ready. Steam some okra. So that will take, I don't know, I'm not sure. It'll take eight minutes. So don't rush your sambal. I would be patient with it. You need that sort of slow frying time to dry out the sambal and just get all the flavor. Adding in your tamarind, sugar, salt. Just gonna spoon some sambal over. This is uh, my steamed okra with spicy sambal, dried shrimp, and crispy shallots. This is just such a comforting dish to have at home, um, whether you just wanna try and eat more vegetables. A good way is probably just to add some really delicious sambal on top. This just reminds me of home, um, just coming home from school, and my auntie would be having that ready with some rice and some like braised meats. Very home-cooked dish something that just will go along with lots of other family meals. The Modern House, selling thoughtfully designed homes across the UK.